Hey everybody and welcome back to Dicing with Death. So, Georg, you are in your hut. You're in Carl's house. Yeah. Your true name is a secret from those around you. Indeed. As is my horse's name, because they keep dying and I can't remember it. It's a new one's name. Uh, yes, you have bought yourself a new horse. All is well with it. Just looking up. Were you going to give me? tell me what my total XP is? Or are you... No, I was just pre-adding it up for the end of the session. Oh, oh, I see. Yes, yes. In case... I, I didn't want to forget the details. So, I guess I... It's still early in the day, but I'm mostly drained of my magical energies. And yeah. Kind of pissed off. So I'm probably back to my house, to my study. In your... Up there, then down the street to bait and tackle. Yeah. And we'll re-memorize spells in the morning and... See if we get any word from Thornwood. It's like it's like a good day's ride to the Yeah, a a trained rider going just from one to the other can make it in a day. It's like fifty miles, I think. Uh, no, it's only thirty miles. Yeah, so a rider can make it to Thornwood in a day. So you figure he sent the message today, gets to Thornwood, or sent the message yesterday, gets to Thornwood. Today, message comes back sometime tomorrow at the earliest. Mm -hmm. um, probably not for a couple of days, but really. Okay. Um, is there anything? It's mid afternoon. Is there anything else you'd like to do? I guess I'm going to charge a magic missile into the amulet because eight strength is the same as nine strength, so might yeah. as well be fully loaded. Sure. So your amulet now contains. One of each, again. One of everything. Oh, so you weren't actually in that much danger with the trolls. You could have invised. Yes, yeah. I could have, and I've also got my rope trick. I'm, I've got, I'm a dimensionalist. i got plenty of ways to GTFO. <laughs> but actually bringing down, actually doing damage in combat is kind of a, a shortcoming of mine. Right. Which is why these magic missiles seem to come in so handy. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, so I probably, maybe I take it easy that night. Stay in. I've had a hard day bashing trolls. Okay. You pass the day. Um, the next day rolls around. It is a bright and sunny morning, just like every day before it has been for some time. Oh, and I need to go fetch some colored sand for my color spray spell. There's no source of spell components in town. It depends on I the spell components. There's not a magic shop in town. Actually, can I conjure spell components for colored sand? No, you need colored sand, and that just doesn't exist naturally within. That spell is so useless. I tell you you've got what, unlimited spell I slots. Tell you what? One, two, three, four. You're right, or, I do. As long as I have a amulet. Right. Um, so if you want, we can just fast forward until when you get the message back, or if there are other things you'd like to do, we can do them. Um, I don't think there's other things that I want to do. I really do need spell components, but I guess Thornwood's probably the place to... Well, we'll see. There's a magic shop in Thornwood, right? Or was there not? There's a magic shop in Shirebrook. I'm not welcome there. Are you kidding? Are you, am I going to go back to Rahana and try and buy some colored sand? Maybe if you have like an alter self spell or something? I don't, but she's also a diviner, so I don't know if that that shit flies yeah um she might not recognize me and then she'd like try reading my mind and or hey i mean you are now a, a, the court wizard for a baron what mm -hmm. is she gonna do huh i know yeah I'm, it's gonna it's quickly reaching the point where i'm not afraid of rahana well yeah not afraid of rahana or or Tyrus. Or Tyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Warriors are a different story. One crit gone wrong and I lose my head. Yeah, so I guess if there's no way for me to acquire colored sand, 
And so I guess we get, I mean, this is the next day. Mm -hmm. um, I guess if Sir Greller isn't looking for me to go null bashing and there's no news, I'm probably taking it easy. I'm going to memorize my spells and then go. Just chill the day, waiting for the word from Rohana? Or yeah, from, um... Uh, not Rohana, from Thornwood, whatever. Sure. That was its name. All right, the next day. Randall. This This day? This day is Monday. Uh, not that it matters much. And you get word uh, mid-afternoon, like three o'clock or so, mm -hmm. a, a servant comes down and knocks on your door. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, just to deal with some your horse, you can leave your horse, you can stable your horse at um, the first falls in. They have a, a stable there. Okay. Um, and we can just yeah. can count the stabling costs as part of your daily, your monthly lodging. <laughs> the big tab that I'm racking up here in town. Yeah, that's what the monthly expenses are for. Is 150 you know, gold a month or whatever. It as is. for all the doctors and all the horse stablings that you have to do, and buying all this food and yada yada yada. Placing my robes every day because I get got them stained with blood from some creature or another. Yeah, and any magical reagents you need that don't have high costs colored sand is considered expensive no what's the cost of colored sand oh i have no i could look it up in spells and math. i thought you said i couldn't get that here in this town no no you can't but if you were to get reagents they you would just fold their cost into your monthly expenses unless it's like you know a 500 gp pearl or something like that okay um anyway the, the servant comes and knocks on your door mm -hmm. and goes uh uh oh. Arc Carl, right? Yeah, I come and get it because the door cannot be opened Correct. except by me. Uh, he bows his head deeply. It says, Arc Carl, the Baron Song has a message for you. He urges that you come to the keep at once. All right. I fetch my horse from First Falls Inn, which and... is conveniently located right next to your house. Yep, and I head south. Okay, you leave the servant in the dust as he trudges back to the keep, the slow way, on foot. You make it back there, and you are let in by Kel Crystal, who keeps the gate guarded and shut. One of the, what do you call them? One of the grooms takes your horse, and you make your way into the main hall where you know he is awaiting you um, you actually see you are not the only person here today there is a small line of peasants lined up to the doors and you are like fourth in line uh, there is a two foot soldiers on either side of the door kind of keeping everyone back mm -hmm. and then the door opens and a peasant walks out and the next peasant walks in, and the foot soldiers close the door. I wait in line. Okay, you can it's, hear the foot soldiers it's, before. It's uh, kind of a question. I, wow. It's I have I ever been here when there was a line before. This is the first time. Uh, you can hear the peasants in front of you, kind of talking. Give me a perception check to overhear their conversation. Yeah, perception. Nope. 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 You can't overhear nope. their conversation at all. They probably intentionally like shrink away from me, like whisper amongst yeah. themselves, and leave like a nice space between me and whoever's next in front of me in line. All right. You wait another half hour or so before it's your turn. Okay. So is it super tense? Like they probably, uh, yeah. Like the peasants having to wait here next to the town wizard and the footmen. Uh, how, how he... The footmen seem very common about everything going on mm -hmm. they're holding their post but they'll chat with each other a little bit when the door opens they you know stand right and tall and quiet when the door's closed and they're waiting as long as the peasants aren't doing anything weird there they'll chat with each other a little nothing interesting just you know mm -hmm. whatever yeah um the Not peasants keep the quiet they whether keep in I'm line to, whether i'm supposed to cut in front of these peasants or yeah you don't know you you make your own way mm -hmm. Uh, eventually, it is your turn, and you come into the Great Hall. Mm -hmm. Baron Song is before you up on his dais. Kel Greller is behind him, 
And today there are also two footmen in front of him at the base of the staircase. And he says, Ah, my wizard, it is good to have you back. I heard about your jaunt into the soggy hills. Yeah. Trolls and wolves. Enough, but I didn't find what I was looking for. I hear you have a message for me. Yes, but first I would hear what you were looking for. <clears throat> Displacer beasts. I hear they run wild in the woods across the river. Dare I ask what you want Displacer Beasts for? Why for would you seek them? I have need of their skin. Hmm. For a experiment. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I think I fit in. I think I fit right in here. <laughs> Greller, wouldn't you say this wizard is certainly a fearsome one? And Greller growls. Just uh, you can see the foot soldiers in front shifting uncomfortably. Anyway, on to more pressing matters. I've received word from Countess Castilian. She writes to welcome you into Thornwood. Her court wizard will be awaiting your presence sometime in the next week. I trust that is in order. I nod. So I will make my way on my new horse. <laughs> Good. What's if I may ask, what's going on with the peasants? I have sort of like nod towards the door. What are they complaining about this time? The usual things. Normally we let them all come in at once, but someone threw a temper tantrum earlier today. And so we've been limiting the number of peasants in here. Hmm. Well, we'll let them out of the dungeons eventually. Maybe. <laughs> Are there any more outside? Or Did call? anyone show up behind me? No, your last one. No, I think you're done for now. Excellent. Um, when can I expect you to be leaving? It's what? A day on horseback? I mm -hmm. suppose if I'm not expected for a week, I shan't leave for a few days. Expected sometime within the next week. Oh. You may leave and today, make... for all I care. Very well, then. I simply wish I'll... to know when you will be absent. I suppose I will take my leave now, then, unless there is something you would have of me. No, no. Just do remember our chat from the dungeons the other day. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I will be careful of before broaching the subject with this Randall. I don't know that he's... Well, we'll see what sort of man he is. Very well, then. Um, you're dismissed. He stands up and exits the room. I can contraband unicorn parts. <laughs> there is nothing contraband about them. They are perfectly legal to own. <laughs> Unlike halfling feet, which are illegal in this country. Because halflings are people, and unicorns are just good aligned creatures of I think it's air. It's the sort of thing where you don't need to outlaw harvesting unicorns because no one does it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but if you if you need some unicorn blood, I totally gotta know a guy who knows a guy. Yeah. I'm your hook hookup. Yeah. Give Georg a call. I mean Carl. Yeah. Similar to how Hellfire missiles aren't specifically outlawed to civilians in the United States, because there's... You know, Are they not specifically outlawed? Uh, I mean, maybe I, under a I, general topic of explosives or rockets. I have a feeling you, you cannot get... You're not allowed to have Hellfire missiles, Neil. 
Well, yeah, but not. Uh, what I'm saying is that the law would be you can't shouldn't do bad things to good creatures. But there's no law saying you know you can't tie up unicorns and bleed them. You you shouldn't do it, but there's no explicit law against it. Fuck unicorns, get money. Yeah. So I fetch my horse, and I guess we'll head head to Thornwood. Okay. Did I get a letter of invitation, or did he just say go? You're good for it. Uh, no. You you would have been handed the letter through a, one of the foot soldiers. Damn, I do not have enough. I need to my spell sh to get more than to get more spell pages. Mm -hmm. I need to spend fifty GP a page. Is that right? For for a spell book. Yes, unless you want like traveling spell book, in which case it's a hundred GP per page. <laughs> but there's no way to go. I can't just scroll like copy spells onto par parchments or things. Uh, like yeah, that. Yeah, of course you can scroll them on whatever you'd like. Uh, but those parchments, you know, if you get wet, they're ruined. Okay, okay. If you, you know, if your spell book falls in the water, it it can be dried and taken care of. Okay, but I can buy a bunch of paper on my way out of town to copy spells if I can convince Randall to let me look at his spell book. Yes, but anything that they are copied onto would be. Mm -hmm. You know, easily damaged. Okay. Well, I can. I'll take care of that in Thornwood. I guess I can buy parchment there, right? Well, might as well do it now. If I can get parchment here in Misty Rapids before I leave, is that a thing that they sell here? No. Really? No. Yeah. No paper. No paper. Would Thornwood have paper? Yeah, you suspect. Okay. Having been through Thornwood, it seems like a large enough place to buy paper. Well then, I guess I head on head on my horse, Bruce the Second. Is Bruce the Second a mayor? Bruce the Second is a mayor. A Lady Philly, a even. Philly. All right, Bruce. Soon to be a Philly cheese stick. <laughs> All right, Derek sets out. Okay. Um, you reach Thornwood by, well... Probably quite late. Yeah, you... What is the distance? It's 30 miles. So if you, you book it and you still make it there after dark. Yeah. I think. Hold on. Wait a minute. We're not... My, hor my horse isn't... I'm too fat. My horse isn't moving at maximum speed, I don't think. You take enough gear that it's moving at half movement or at yeah, uh, two thirds. All, I've got about twenty five pounds of gear, so mm. actually even more with my rations, which will like be in a sack on the on the horse. And I'll bring. I don't need the torches and the crowbar, but. Okay, so it is late at night. You are approaching. Ooh, it's not. Where's our music? Where is our music, music? and map? Back to Thornwood. Music and map. Yes. Uh, here we go. It is late. The sun has gone down. You can. You're making your way by moonlight, and what little starlight exists. I do have an innate sense of direction, if you will. You do. Direction yes. sense proficiency. So I. Yeah. Um. I know where the North Star is or whatever. Right. Uh, the only issue is that you're mostly in woods. There's no trees on the road. So there's you know, light directly above you as you go through this road. But it's pretty dark here in the woods. You're most of the way to Thornwood. Um, yeah. when I do you have torches, you... but I probably don't light them. No. When you round a bend... And see a pod of goblins. Because goblins come in pods. Um, there seem to be ten-ish of them. It's hard to make that out in the light. But they are uh, standing over the road. Mm -hmm. uh, they seem to be looking at something on the ground as your horse kind of comes around a corner into view, and one of them turns to face you and goes, Rucka! Rucka backa! I don't the other speak goblin, goblin but I do speak hobgoblin. So okay. I will condescendingly speak down from my horse. Um, 
in Hobgoblin they say, You know not who you hassle. Peons. And I think I let my robe hang open and I display the amulet of Malchus, which is glowing with souls in it, right? Or glowing with the charges. It doesn't actually glow. It just turns okay. the stones red. Okay, so it actually wouldn't be that intimidating to show. They'd probably no. be like, oh, that's a nice thing to steal. Yes. Okay. Okay, well, I do bark at them in Hobgoblin then. Okay. Uh, the Mars would do nicely here, but I don't have it. I only ever the do. forefront goblin... Uh, shield in hand kind of holds it out to the side to gesture to his men to hold position takes a few steps forward and says back in goblin in hobgoblin who are you that speak our tongue mounted stranger I am Georg the great wizard dimensionalist if they have that word in hobgoblin (laughs) Um, spacey timey man. That's what it comes up. Comes spacey out to. timey man. And how do you serve our most beloved master? <clears throat> Who is your master? Pause. You are not of his persuasion i look around in the are the goblins like inching in or do they seem like skittish what are, are they have they like surrounded me are they like no no they're all they're holding knives? back they're about 100 feet from you oh. um they were, the, like, well, across the yeah i mean the 100 feet's not that far to talk especially at night mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. and the, the front goblin is holding his other men back they're all kind of spaced out behind him now that you've had a few a little while to count you count 11 of them not exactly 10 comprehend languages spell um it seems like the hobgoblin is suiting me just fine yeah the hobgoblin seems to be fine this guy seems pretty fluent you don't know if the other goblins can hear or not but this one clearly mm-hmm. speaks well mm-hmm. um he repeats this question are you not an emis- uh, an agent of our lord master How then do you speak our tongue? <clears throat> I I sh- shout back, tell me the name of your lord. I will do more than tell you. We will kill you for Carrick. And he turns back to his goblins and says something, um, and you hear the name Carrick again shouted. Uh, as they charge at you, yeah, I cast like a color spray in the face. Okay. Well, the group system. initiative. Yeah. Oh, group initiative, huh? Group initiative. Yeah, there's too many of them. Five. They go first. They swarm up to you quickly uh, as you fumble with your pouches to get your color spray ready. Do you have any color spray left, by the way? I got one last. This is my last charge. Okay. I'm out of D20s. They swarm up and around you. Uh, In the back, four of them, five of them with slings, hurl them and release their pebbles at you. One, two, three, four, five. Spell interrupted. Maybe murdered by goblins. What is your AC? 20. 20? 10? 10. 10. 10. I'll give you some cover for being behind a horse, though, because they're attacking you from front on. So let's say that is a miss. The this hits your horse and those hit you. You take 10 damage from the stones as they pelt you. Your horse, please roll me 3d8 HP for your horse. Your horse takes 4 damage. Okay. Um, do you surrender? Yeah. These other goblins are still swarming up to you, melee style. Yeah, I think I'm still like sh- I'm kind of taken aback that they charged me on such short order. Mm-hmm. Were they not intimidated? They did not um, seem to be intimidated. 
Um, your spell has been interrupted. You're stand. You're sitting on your horse, a little like. I, lo I lose the material components. No, you haven't pulled them out yet. But I lose the memory of the spell. Yeah. How much damage did the horse say? Four. All that is. I sh continue. I think I shout in hobgoblin. Hold beasts. You know not who I am. Um, I guess I blink on the next round. Did you cast I'm blink? Retreat, no. Okay. So I'll roll initiative. I'm well, hold on. No, the the fighters hadn't haven't uh, gotten up to you yet. It's just the missile attackers who have attacked. Okay, but they interrupted my spell and I lost the round, right? Right. So, so they are still coming up towards you. Uh, never mind. So the fighters come up. I was asking, looking to see if you. Uh, did I mean, something yeah. in between like if you wanted to you took 10 damage i figured i wanted to give you an opportunity to surrender i mean that's the, I mean, before I, they I, get to you i mean I, I don't know what more it's i mean like i'm i'm on i guess i've got a stick but i run if i can i mean i i don't i, mean, I don't have I all right they, they come up and swing their or stab with their knives seven eight eight Can nine you... 11 hits your horse's AC 13. I have no idea. I've never used the horse. Yeah, I think, I think horses have AC 13. All right. So they three of them hack at you. Two of them go to kill Bruce the second. Okay. I'm confused um, as to why you turned it to me for a second there, though. Like, why you asked if I could... Like, I couldn't... There was nothing I could do, right? I mean, I'm, like, bumbling in the heat of combat. Um, I mean, I just I to see if there's any words you wanted to say. Huh. Yeah, I don't. I don't know the magic word to tell the goblins to not to not murder me. Oh. Uh, initiative I time. All. Uh, oh, yeah, because you lost your round. Powerful wizard. Actually, Roll me that I initiative. Invisible. Six. Your turn, first. Okay. So I I turn invisible with the amulet. <sighs> You're out of existence. Uh, you disappear. And the the goblins that were meleeing uh, yeah. take a few steps back. The ones with the slings kind of stop getting their slings ready. And they okay. all kind of I look about. I stay on top of the horse then if they're not, if they're just like freaking out. Yeah, they're they're looking about I all over like the place. I sh shout, and I move the ho maneuver the horse if I can, that you said they backed up? Yeah, they all stopped and, and stepped back a few paces. I said, you know not who you meddle with. Back, goons. And I lead the horse forward. I'm still invisible. Mm -hmm. I think I, like, duck as best I can, like, hold myself against the horse so I've got cover. They back up a few paces, and their leader kind of <laughs> gets them to back up and says once more in Hobgoblin, If you do not serve Carrick, what are you doing in our woods? What are you doing speaking our language? And why do you have this power? My power is my own. You should do well to remember my name, goblins. And tell this Lord Carrick Georg the Great was here. And I take this moment to like urge my horse galloping down the street. Okay. They let you pass. Uh, to me. Well, they, they let, let the, the horse, horse pass. pass, yeah. The horse driving. Um, and as you ride away, you hear them continuing to talk as if you were still right there. God. Could use their souls, but that was a lot of... Those slings hurt. Yeah. So I take this opportunity to get the fuck out all right if, they, if they'll let me they let the yeah. horse go yeah um and 15 minutes later you find yourself at the door i was that the, close to town yeah you were very close you cross the river and find yourself right in front of thornwood it's i think i returned to being visible yeah you find yourself before the large brick walls of Thornwood. They stand 15 feet tall, 8 feet thick. You see ballistas atop them. Uh, one of them pointed directly at you, and a man above the wall, not armed on the ballista, but directly above the, the gate, says, 
It's late. Who goes there? I should have. Ark Carl. I just just rode in from Misty Rapids. You're coming in a little late at night. These woods are dangerous. I know. <laughs> you got goblins not 15 minutes uh, west of west of town. Hmm. Let them come. Our ballistas will rip them apart. You say you're from Misty Rapids? Do I have a letter from the... You do. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I have an invitation from the Baroness? Countess. Countess? Countess. Countess. Right. He comes downstairs, uh, opens the smaller door within the large door, walks out, takes a look at your letter, approves it. Mm -hmm. Opens the big door and lets you in. Uh, he also says it's fairly late, but there are still a few inns that you can find. Um, he gives you kind of a once over. I think a man of your lifestyle would prefer to the bear cave. It's. No, he gives you some directions to the bear cave. A man of my lifestyle would prefer the bear cave. I'm not sure how to take that recommendation. But it's the only inn that I've heard of. I can't, can't remember where I stayed last time I was here. but Bear cave it is. Man of my lifestyle. What does it mean? <laughs> And do they have a stables? They do. Uh, now I'm wounded. It's night, so I guess I'll just grab a room and then go find this wizard in the morning. Yeah, you find a room, you get to sleep. You rest comfortably. Um, morning rises, and you can go to the keep and and do as you need. Yeah. Uh, Thornwood is much bigger and much more busy than Misty Rapids. In the light of the morning, you realize that the in your hat that you're staying in has a third floor. Hmm. Um, and it, too, is made out of this wonderful red brick. Looking about you, you see the from the, the the second story where you are. You can see the red brick walls surrounding the town. Most of the buildings here are one story, but there are plenty of two-story buildings as well. The walls stand 15 feet high, eight feet thick, as I said before. And the town itself has a population of 4,600. Mm -hmm. um, all enclosed within the borders of this wall. It seems that food must come in from out of town on a. That can't be right. Um, do you really not have any farmland in here? Um, maybe there are hunters and they import there. Yeah, there's there's hunters and large grain wagons will come in from time to time. I think there's, you know, huge grain wagons that roll in every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Um, they could yeah, have like a... farms out on the edge of the forest, like. Right, but any food... How many miles away that is. Yeah. It's like a couple, couple days. They, maybe couple they've carved days. out farms in the, in the woods. Yeah. Who knows? No. Uh, um, there's some, you know, there's small farms in front of people's houses, and you can you can kind of smell the, the pigsty from where you are. So there's definitely some food in and around here for animals. Mm -hmm. um, and you can even see the castle. It's not really a castle. It's the keep. Uh, mm -hmm. A large stone building stands four stories. Largest building in the in Thornwood. Hmm. Well, um, I hopefully won't need my HP at the keep. Yeah. You never know. Hopefully not. Um, I think I'm going to pick up some par some rolls of parchment on my way. Sure. Uh, they just count towards your monthly expenditure. Don't worry about it. I don't know if I'm going to like the looks of my bill at the end of the month. 
it's going to be 250 gold. <laughs> so I might as well. Like, all the paper. I buy all the paper. No, no. Just what you need for your spell components and stuff. Mm -hmm. Nothing out of hand. Oh, right. The first and second floors of this building are made out of brick. The third is made out of wood. I forgot about that. Okay. Interesting enough. Um, I guess I leave my horse here and head towards the keep. Okay. Mm. Busting myself off. I guess I didn't take any... I'm not bloodied. I just took like a couple of slings to the face or whatever. Break my nose. I'm all bruised up. Yeah, you've got like big welts on your forehead and on your face and your what? chest. Like you've got the, It's like you've been... Someone so shot you with a bunch before. of paintballs at point blank range. I was so handsome before. Yeah. Damn goblins. Okay. Uh, you make it to the keep. There is a foot soldier on duty. Uh, two foot soldiers on duty at the base of it. They look at you. They look at your... Uh, I guess it's been a couple of days. You could have had your robes washed of... of um, I, have the troll, I got new robes. Troll blood. The troll incident. I look, I cut an intimidating, I mean, I look like a wizard, right? Yeah. Robes, got a coiled up snake on my robes. Yeah, uh, new robes yeah. are hard to come by because they've got that special patch sewn on them. So they prefer yeah. to, you know, wash the robes rather than replace them if possible. But whatever, it doesn't matter. I got a really, really nice clean shave, which is probably hard to come by in this world. Mm -hmm. Who else gets to shave their face with a magical dagger? Yeah, that's true. Uh, anyway, the, the guards look at you and say, uh, you must be... Ark Carl from I hand them Baron I like, Song. I like present the note. I say, indeed. Excellent. My reputation precedes me. They glance at the note and just hand it back to you right away. Uh, yes, yes. I think Ram Ark Ramdal, the transmuter, is waiting for you. Uh, perhaps not this early, but let me lead you to him, sir. Um, he claps his hands, and a stable boy runs over and takes your horse. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, you proceed into the keep and are led immediately to the left and up some stairs until you come to, uh, you go up two flights of stairs, putting you on the third floor when you are brought around to a, just another door, one of many doors, but carved into the door is a long staff with a ball on the end of it. Carved into the door? Yeah, it was like the outline of a staff with an, a ball attached to it mm -hmm. to kind of mark this door uh, apart from other doors. And the, the foot soldier says, this is Ark Ramdal's room. Uh, he gives it a knock and says, good luck, and turns around and heads back down. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have done some digging before I just showed up at this guy's door, but I guess we'll see. All right. The door opens, and before you stands a 38-ish year old man. Mm -hmm. uh, he looks you up and down and goes, hmm, Carl. I nod. You're early. A wizard is never late or early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Well said. And he stretches I... out his hand. I am Ramdal, the transmuter. I give it a shake. Uh, Carl, a uh, dimensionalist. Most intriguing. <laughs> Most intriguing. Uh, do please come in, Carl. What is it that you've... You look familiar. Have we met before? I Georg never met Randall. No, he did not. No. Uh... I, I think not. I believe I would remember meeting a, a wizard of your your skill and experience. Hmm. Perhaps you just have one of those faces. I, anyway. Um, uh, please have a seat. He gestures to a very comfortable room. Looks like a wizard's lounge, almost? Lots of big, comfy chairs. The Some lights are kind lunges. of dim, but there's not really a source of light. Uh, mm -hmm. It's very wonderful. Huh. I have to 
Get me some of those lights. Um, uh, please have a seat. What what is it that you are here for? Uh, truth be told, I am here at request of uh, my my new lord, Lord uh, Lord Song. Yes, he has requests. I'm sure you know as how these things go, and <laughs> most spells which i do not have incantations which i have not practiced ah so i come at his request he wishes you to learn from me is that it are you to be my apprentice <laughs> i uh, i don't know if this is quite what he has in mind but he has heard of your reputation and apparently been quite impressed most are But perhaps we can come to some mutual exchange. Perhaps, perhaps. What, what is it that you seek, Carl, the dimensionalist? Mm. Well, your exploits that have gotten me in uh, in the doghouse for not being able to keep up with seem to be your divinations, particularly the powers of clairvoyance and clairaudience ah. see and hear beyond your position of your physical body certainly Wait, like, a must for any trained court wizard hmm. well I like most of our kind hate to give up something for nothing. Indeed, I am young, but I think I may have a few clever ideas you haven't seen. I'm... willing to be transparent with you, to share with you what knowledge I have. Ooh, an invisibility spell. Hmm. I don't have invisibility, and I don't know how he would be That's... transparent with you <laughs> is that what he said uh, what? Okay. He, yeah. he's making a joke yeah Your character made a joke ryan yeah. you lose five experience have... for not getting it what invisibility spell i can't do that no 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 hmm. uh well um what makes you think i would like what you have to offer then perhaps another trade would be more suitable. No, no, I I'm, mean, I'm curious I, to hear what you have, but I by no means am the sort of wizard who acquire, who desires to know every spell in the book. I seem a little, I'm like, I don't quite understand. I'm like, isn't that why you do magic? To learn all the spells? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, tell me, what, what is it that you offer in trade? <clears throat> well, and I guess I can, I mean, I'll, I'll I mean, I'm not, I don't, I would, sh I would explain him my spells. I don't know what would he would say. So, well, I mostly bend time and space to displace objects or Blurdy, blurdy, blur. Insert wizard techno babble. Okay. Do you basically um, just give him a list of all your spells and let him? Yeah, lose? I think. Yeah, I'm hoping the ones that he hadn't seen will be along the lines of like blink. I will say, you know, I, I think I could displace myself if I could just get my hands on some of this one of these displacer beasts. But mm -hmm. I do have the spell displace self and the rope trick. I've got the scrolls that I inherited from Bruce. Right. Does he does he know Bruce? No, he doesn't know Bruce. Okay. <laughs> um, so maybe he's not interested in any of any of my my spells. Where, where, he... where does the conversation go when I start? Okay. Well, I'm just looking at what spells you have here. Yeah. He is interested in 
And he's not like clairvoyance. I would never give another wizard the power to. He's not like those are. No. He seems open to the idea of. Yes. At least on some level. Um, he is interested in your past life spell. That's on a scroll that I've got in my scroll box. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a strange one. So you see what someone looked like before they died with just a piece of them. And then if you're a high enough level, you can use it to like see the last moments before their death. Yes, that's the only one he is interested in. Hmm, this past life spell is most intriguing a person yes. in my position often has t need for such a thing bodies come up maimed mutilated we must find the culprit yes indeed uh, if you can hide the identity of the deceased you can get away with just about anything It'd be difficult to find out who was killed or why but this We'll put an end to such murderers. Indeed, a... And yet, it is no clairvoyance, nor, no, nor a clairaudience. Perhaps we can make a deal, Carl. What do you have in mind? I speak of m murders with disfigured faces. There is, I suspect, and he lowers his voice a little bit, another wizard living in town. There have been strange happenings lately. And beyond that, I have a seller who brings me the, um, uh, the penal glands of animals for uh, it's a reagent in one of my spells that sounds familiar actually what spell was however that? he says that recently someone had come by dressed all in dark and purchased all the pineal glands he had can i roll a spellcraft check to identify what a pineal yes. gland is used for that sounds really familiar i was definitely reading that spell recently so I probably want it. <laughs> D20 plus is it 19? It might be 19. Clairvoyance uses pineal oh, gland. Okay. okay. Actually, that's not, I mean, it's, I think it's a 23, but that's still a pass. Yeah. Okay. Someone had purchased all the pineal gland from my distributor recently. A, a black robed wizard in town, you say? The hood up. <clears throat> Now, if it were this issue and this issue alone, I might think a strange wizard had passed through our borders, but there have been murders. People's faces burned beyond recognition. Holy it's... shit. Georg's the least of these people's worries. I believe there to be a foul sorcerer existing in our city and i have a clue as to who it might be i just i cannot afford to let them know i am on to them i am hoping you might run this investigation for me if you can track down this sorcerer whoever they may be i would gladly trade my clairaudience and clairvoyant spells for your past life. Together, if we work, we can track down this murderer and bring them to justice. A rogue wizard is bad for all of our business. Yes. I would be happy to lend my services. Excellent. I will Great need your past time. life spell eventually. But first, we must find the murderer. He gets up and starts to pace. Okay. Um, Do you have a body? Oh, we have plenty of bodies, but not now, not now. <laughs> I mean, perhaps in your hand, the past life could shed some light on this murder. Perhaps. Um, let me first tell you of my 
clue. Yes, yes, the clue. Some years back, our city was uh, gifted with a library. Up until now, all the libraries have been small and private. My own was the best. Some years ago, a new library was added. And yet, after aggressive expansion, not a single book in that library deals with matters of the arcane. Hundreds and hundreds of books. Not a single book dealing with anything on the arcane. I have scoured the library myself, hoping to discover new treasures, and have come away empty. Do you not think it's strange for a library that covers all manner of things to be lacking even a single book on the arcane subject? I nod slowly. So yes, the probability of such a thing very it's low. unlikely, considering magic is by one of the most exciting things to write about. I would estimate probably what, at least one in ten books written? It's probably scribbled down by a mage. We are typically the most learned and lettered of men. Mm -hmm. Why, I think it quite likely that someone misplaced the magical collection of this library. Yes. Yes. Mm. I suspect it is the librarian himself. And older man named Murphy. He would be very easy for him to hide his wizarding status. He spends all his time indoors, locked away, leaving his clerks and pages to run the library, disappearing for very, very long hours, often said to be an absentee librarian. He runs the library. He's in charge of books, must be in charge of acquisitions. I have done what I can, but I do not wish to arouse his suspicion. For if it is this Murphy, he must be quite clever to have remained hidden for so long. I worry my presence there may tip him off. Well, I shall begin with the library. Excellent. I... Pleasure to meet you, uh, Ark. Uh, Randall. Ark Randall. Ramdall with an M. You mispronounce his name and his eye twitches. It's Ramdall with an M? R A M D A L L. Are you sure? It's R A N D A L L on my character sheet. Well, that's a typo. I guess so. <laughs> his eye twitches. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Carl. You know Carl. who you remind me of? Hmm. There were leaflets passed around a week or two ago. Maybe oh, there's no way I remind him of that guy. I'm this Carl's gaunt and clean shaven. The leaflet guy was all scruffy and plump. But you don't have the beard and you don't have the weight and well, look at you. Did you hear about it? It's a, a legend going around. Well, not, not quite a legend, but almost. A Have you heard? Today. Of Georg the Gruesome, also known as Georg the Lich Guard. Huh. Well, it sounds like you have your black-robed wizard right there. Indeed. He was... That is the only problem, is that Georg is a more recent addition to this town. Or oh, if he's here at all. He disappeared somewhere near Shirebrook. His men came here. Apparently, Perhaps. he guards a lich's phylactery. Can you believe it? A lich in our presence? And this world will like soon burn if that has come back. Sounds like the stuff of fairy tales. <laughs> folk tales. Wow. Drexel is the stuff of folk tales and fairy tales. 
We have not seen a lich since him. Not a real one, at least. Not on this continent. Hmm. Anywho. Uh, so, you were having issues with this black road wizard before this Drexel showed up, or Georg, or whatever you called him. A little. Hey, there is no clear evidence of a wizard. Only circumstantial evidence that has been slowly building. If you follow it back, it go. you can follow it for maybe a decade. As of late, there's been more. These murders are the closest things we have to evidence. Is the simplest explanation not that these, all of these ongoings are related? That there is only one evil wizard? Perhaps, perhaps. Plaguing your lands? That is definitely a possibility. But I wonder then, why are there no books in the library? If this Georg the Lich Guard is truly the enemy, why do our libraries contain no books on the arcane? A mystery indeed. I leave it to you to solve. It'd be best for us to have as little communication as possible, lest our enemies suspect us working together. Where are you staying, so I know where to reach you? Uh, I'm at the the bear. The, the bear cave. The bear cave, yes. Lovely establishment. Which, which room? Yeah. You give him your room number. Mm-hmm. Excellent. If I have need for you, I will have a message left under your door. Yes. Um, I... He escorts you to the door, shakes your hand, mm-hmm. and lets you out. And on that note, I think we are done for today. Unless you got another hour in you. I don't know what your work schedule is like. Uh, I think we should wrap it up. Okay. Dish out XP and we that can is a... Thornwood next time yes give me plenty of time to these new leads flesh all this stuff out so yeah spend some more time prepping thornwood just to have me turn around and leave i hope not um for that i'll probably be here at least 10 days or whatever to recover my freaking hp and you've got a 10 percent experience bonus for high int yes so all told everything for today is six thousand and fifty and most of that comes from trolls. Is that including? That includes 10%. Uh, how do you get 50 with 10% bonus? I think you're swindling me, sir. I'm just kidding. Because it was 5,500 times 1.1. 1. 1. Okay. I take back my skepticism. Ha! Long way to level six, but six I still got 50. so many spells to learn. All right. Yeah, so you should be at, what, 26,000 out yeah, of 40,000? Yeah. 26, Oof. 000, Another. You can always go troll hunting. I don't want any more trolls, thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that's it for today's surprise Dicing with Death. I hope that Shabon. tides you over. While Ryan is gone for the next three weeks, four weeks, long weeks, Something short like weeks. That. Or like three. I think we'll be back eh, mid-March. Okay. So it's like one, two, probably like three weeks off. Cool. Well, know. that's it for now. If you guys stick around, we are going to be doing some campaign planning and uh, world building right after this. Mostly campaign planning. We're going to continue working on the modules that we've been building. That's going to be fun work. Uh, yeah. Have so fun. we'll see you guys in a few minutes and we'll see Ryan in a few weeks. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.